Alright guys, what is up? And Sam coming at you with a really cool opening of two Legendary Collection 5Ds. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I feel like I want to do some more opening videos on my channel because I don't really do a whole lot of those just because normally I don't see a lot of products I want to buy. And normally like the boxes I do get, I open them up whenever I get them because it's at the store and the guy that I buy them from, he'll buy back or trade back cards. Uh, but I feel like I, I just wanted to buy these because there's a, a bunch of really cool cards in here. Oh, there's actually some stuff out of here I really need because I'm making speedroids, and the Quasar would actually really help because I'm wanting to test out a new speedroid Quasar deck. And plus, just felt kind of nostalgic because recently uh, they finally released fi Season 2 of 5Ds on DVD, and I bought Season 1 and kind of rewatched it because I watched a couple episodes as a kid whenever it first came out and thought it was really cool. Uh, but I never did actually get some of the cards, I just watched the show because I thought it was really neat. Uh, so yeah, I just thought it would be kind of cool to open up a couple of these. So. Yeah, I'm not going to go over like all the promos and stuff because this thing's been out for quite a while now. And there's already been plenty of other like people do opening videos on these. So you should kind of know what it comes with like the promos and the game board and stuff. Um, but there's a couple really neat cards in here that have still retained some value. Like Max sees a really big one. Emergency Teleport with the release of the new uh, Psy Frames and Cosmos that could really use it. Uh, Vanity's Emptiness, uh, I don't know if I already mentioned that. Uh, max scene. Plus there's a bunch of just really neat cards in here. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open all the Mega Packs. Uh, so yeah. Take all the wrapping off. Actually this box is a little damage right there, so maybe that's a sign that's gonna have really good cards. Alright, so the box will come open. Ooh, that one was actually nice and neat. Let's see, we got our five packs there. Throw that off to the side, and then this box open up a lot quicker. Uh, this one, not so much. Usually, it's like all the box, like all the packs are shifted off to one side. The promos gone halfway across the country, just getting shifted around. Whenever they actually ship these out to the retailers. Uh, so yeah, we have uh, ten packs of Mega Pack Legendary Collection Five Ds. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this nice and neat looking. Bunch of packs here. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and do pack number one. And for those of you who don't know, you are guaranteed hollows in these. Like, you get a couple commons, and then you get a rare, an ultra, secret, and a super. Oh, it's upside down. So, flare resonator, a common black rose, that's kind of neat. Uh, black wing claim of the haze, the golden apples, TG rush rhino. Oh, wow, first pack, that is really sick. Emergency teleport, one of the cards I actually was hoping to pull, so, yeah, that's really, really cool. Um, but then we have an Earthbound Immortal, Kapakapu, Clock Resonator, and Vice Dragon. These were upside down. And the Earthbound Immortals are really cool, and also Common Black Rose looks really cool. Uh, so, I'm not going to take the rare out. Uh, let's see, we have our Ultra, Secret, Super, and then Common Black Rose can chill over here. I'm actually going to put a sleeve on that really quick. Uh, that's really neat. And I just now got rid of one of my, uh, Ultimate Rare, my friends. He's making Cosmos, so he really needed that one. Alright, so pack number two. This is already kind of worth it, honestly. Uh, let's see. We have Junk Barrage, Road Synchron. Oh, Creation Resonator. That's actually one I needed, because one of my friends, he's wanting to make the uh, Creation... Uh, he's wanting to make the little uh, Resonator Red Dragon deck. Oh, we have cards for Black Feathers, Stardust Dragon, Drill Warrior, and TG Blade Blaster. I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, just re-watching Season 2 of 5Ds. I just now got to the episode, it's like the beginning, where uh, Yusei's fighting the guys with all the mech lords and he's trying to learn how to beat them without using his synchros. And one of the guys pulls out a TG deck and I thought that was kind of cool. So there's Ultra, Secret, and Super. And pack number two. This one, I always thought it was kind of weird how like, some of these packs have like a lot of extra air in it, some of them are just not that way. Let's see. Revival of the Immortals, Rose Fairy, Earthbound Whirlwind, Hedgeguard, Unknown Synchron, and Mechlo Emperor Skill. This one was kind of cool. The guy who used it actually used uh, Trap Stun. So there's our super. And Unknown Synchron's kind of cool. There's a couple of different decks that can still use it. I uh, know one of my friends, he played it in his uh, Light Sworn deck. Especially with the Dragon Rulers back whenever they were legal, and he had that deck. Oh, everything's backwards and upside down. So we have Turbo Synchron, Moon Dragon, Quila, Strong Wind Dragon. I haven't pulled that guy yet. What does he do? 
Uh, can't be sure by battle if a monster has the same attack. These tributes on battery and dragon monster gain stat equal to half the original attack of the tribute monster and has piercing. So that's kind of cool, like a generic dragon deck. Uh, then we have Synchron Explorer. Oh wow, this is out of the same legendary collection. Vanity's Emptiness. Holy crap. I'm gonna need more sleeves, honestly. Uh, Blackwing Silver and the Ascendant. Clock Resonator. Oh, Sun Dragon. I think we actually. Well, that's kind of cool. We got Sun and Moon Dragon in the same pack, so that one was actually really good. And see, so, yeah, I got all the hollows out, so. Grab another random sleeve. And I just uh, traded off one of my secret vanities. Actually, not really traded off, but waiting for a guy to send out for it. And let's see, pack number five it is. So that legendary collection was actually worth the money, especially with the because the vanities and mercy teleport are both really expensive cards right now. Crystal Rebel, Turbo Warrior, Junk Servant, the Golden Apples. Oh, Blackwing, sure, that's cool. Cobalt Hedgehog looks really cool as a secret, and Earthbound Immortal Uru. I don't know why half these cards are upside down. Let's see, there's Uru, our super. Hedgehog is our secret, and Shura. The Shura might get traded off, because my Blackwings already have a place out of all the Ultras from uh, just like buying packs and getting them in trades and buying them online and stuff. So this one will be for trade. So, yeah. This is the first pack of the second Legendary Collection, the one with the damage box. So let's hope it's a sign of something good. Let's see, Boris, Raptor Wing Strike, Power Breaker, Lightning Warrior. That's kind of cool. TJ Harper Librarian, that's a good secret. And then Mechlord Emperor Granol for a super. So, yeah. The Hyper, uh, Hyper Librarian might still be kind of good because of all the Synchron stuff. And, oh wow, this pack's actually kind of cut at the bottom. You can kind of see that. So, this box kind of actually got roughed up a little bit. And so far, it's had one good card out of there. So, we have Mistral Silver Shield, Flare Resonator. Another common Black Rose, that's cool. Turret Warrior, Black Wing Dragon. Ooh, Colossal Fighter and a Secret. That looks really sick. I actually have this kind of super from the uh, the starter deck with Junk Warrior and stuff. So, that's kind of cool. Oh, and Desynchro is a super. That's kind of nice. So these two boxes have been really, really nice so far. The only thing that can make this better is a max C. That's like one of the other chase cards out of the set. Just because it has so much use. Then we have another Road Synchron. Ooh, another Creation Resonator. That's kind of cool. Violet Witch. TG Striker. I remember playing him in my Medul Chase. Another Unknown Synchron and a Drill Synchron. That's cool. So, there's those. And two packs left. Let's see what else we can get. So far, I think these are really worth it. Ooh, lovely. That's kind of a good rare. Trap Eater. Stygian Sergeant is kind of cool. Oh, and Cephalon. That's kind of a neat little card. I kind of wish they'd make more of the Time Lords. They're kind of neat. And Stygian Sergeant, I remember, uh, Trudge. He was he used that card in his deck. He has, like, a weird deck. Uh, but I remember he pulled this out against the keys of whenever she's trying to, uh, get... I think it's some kind of license for her to legally be able to turbo duel. And he pulled that out. And it was a neat episode. So we have Goddard Damarung. It's always hard trying to pronounce these uh, Nordic cards. Mech Time Blast. Rose Tentacles, that's cool. Oh, another TG Striker. Wow, I don't even know what to say. Two Vanity's Emptiness. This was like the chase card. People would like go through cases of these and like not even pull them. Like they pull one or two, but two out of two Legendary Collections. This was actually a really good investment. And then we have Earthbound Linewalker. This kind of looks like he'd be out of like a Magic the Gathering card. That's what it looks like. Now uh, then we have Road Warrior, Hyper Synchron, and Extra Veiler. So there is our Super Ultra when I set the secret. And we got two Black Roses as common. Those are kind of cool. So yeah, I'll grab another sleeve for this Vanity's Emptiness. So I think Vanity's Emptiness, like whenever this came out, whenever it was at 3, it was like $45. And I think it's still like 20 25 something in that range. So we'll go ahead and recap all of our hollows. We just kind of sort things really quick. The sleeve cards are gonna kind of stick out. All right, so for the supers, we have Earthbound Linewalker, Cephalon the Ultimate Time Lord, Drill Synchron, Desynchro, Mechlord Emperor Granol, Earthbound Immortal Uru, Blackwing Silver and the Ascendant, Mechlord Emperor Skeel, TG Blade Blaster, Earthbound Immortal Kapakapu, and then for our Ultras, we have TG Striker times two. Then we have Trap Eater, Blackwing Dragon, Lightning Warrior, Blackwing Shura, 
Synchron Explorer, Hedge Guard, Stardust Dragon, and TG Rush Rhino. And then for our secrets, we have Staging Sergeants, Unknown Synchron, Colossal Fighter, TG Hyper Librarian, Cobalt Hedgehog, uh, another Unknown Synchron, Drill Warrior, and then these three beautiful secret errors. Two Vanity's Emptiness and an Emergency Teleport. I actually wasn't expecting to pull too much, but I'd say this was worth the investment. Um, I want to go ahead and actually look up the prices really quick since I have it on my phone. Uh, just to see if these were worth it, because I paid $64 for these two with tax. I also needed the Quasar out of there. So, I'll check TCG Player really quick. So, yeah, I was actually really happy, really, really neat to pull these, because I just had one of these when I pulled one whenever the set first came out and just traded it off. Uh, so, now I just kind of doubled it back. So, let's see. Vanities... Emptiness. Let's see, Vanity's Emptiness. Actually, I can just go ahead and pull it up from the set. Legendary Collection 5Ds. Let me see here. Let's see, the Emergency Teleport is going for an average of $20. That's actually really nice. And then way down at the bottom, Vanity's Emptiness is going for $10. So these are actually really nice pulls. Uh, so yeah, everything you see in this video is for sale or trade. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this opening. Uh, whenever the set first came out, this would have been like a really, really broke box or boxes. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the little quick opening video. I know I really enjoyed it. Uh, but thanks for watching, and as always, I will catch you guys later. See ya.